Welcome back to the McMahon Group, everyone. Okay, fall is almost here, even though it's still 110 in Arizona, and we're gearing up for football and all those other fun things that are taking place. But now, when our kids go out and we do those practices in that high heat, should parents worry about them being okay and safe? Or, or when is it time to be concerned? Joining me this morning is Kenny King, and he is the executive president of Alliance Youth Sports, also a former Arizona Cardinal and Baltimore Ravens player. Welcome, Kenny. Thank you. And our one and only co-owner of Functional Fitness, Jeremy Jones, is here, and he is going to give us some input and advice on some exercises to do with these kids as they go out and play these sports. Welcome. Well, thank you, Lisa. Good to see you again. Thank you. You're Thanks for being back. Today, I know, I know. I'm not in my workout yeah. here, <laughs> sweating it out with you guys in six minutes' time, right? Oh, gosh. Okay, so here we are. School is either starting this week or it's starting in the next couple mm -hmm. weeks, and a lot of our boys are going out for fall football. As we know, it's, it's, we're still 110 back in the Midwest and the East. The humidity is just off the roof. How do we know what kind of signs and symptoms, red flags of what to look for to see if our child is maybe pushing it a little bit too much out on the field? Kenny, Jeremy, either one take it. Well, definitely, uh, you know, some of the first things you want to start looking for are in the eyes, you know, the eyes themselves, because a lot of times the eyes tell the whole story. You know, the, the eyes kind of start rambling a little bit. They start going off course. You're, you, you definitely want to start being aware of what's going on. If you start seeing more of the hands on the knees, you know, the, the kind of taking those deep, heavy breaths, you know, and, and even uh, some signs of dizziness, you definitely want to be alert to what's going on with the athlete. Okay. And as far as red flags out on the field, like I read here between the years of 1980 and 2009, 58 high school football players died of hypothermia. And I think just a month or so ago, a, a coach collapsed. So when it, when it comes to hydration, is this something that we do the, the day of practice or what kind of direction can we give our kids? I'll take that one. Um, we want to make sure that everybody hydrates before. Um, I think is with youth sports, um, we as parents, we have to make sure our kids go out and hydrate days before, knowing that they'll be out in the heat. Um, some people wait to the last minute to the, the day of or during to drink water, um, but they have to drink water um, prior to going out um, a couple of days before performing. Mm. Now, and what is it about uh, Gatorade and the electrolytes? Why are the electrolytes so important to all these workouts? Basically just replacing you know, what, what the body loses in sweat. So very important to keep the body balanced that you've got your magnesium, your sodium, and your potassium in the system to keep everything functioning properly. Mm. Should we encourage our kids to take some multivitamins in addition to the electrolytes? Yes, definitely. Your multis help out quite a bit. And then, of course, as always, you know, even with some of the things we talked about with you, proper nutrition plays a huge role as well. Okay, so diet. And I was mentioning about salt. You know, it seems like we lose a lot of salt. And, Kenny, you were saying a lot of the, the pro guys, they take like a salt tablet, but that's not necessary for high school. Yeah, not, not necessary for high school, um, not necessary for youth. Um, it's water, water, water for youth. Mm -hmm. um, just making sure you hydrate it at all times. Um, um, most people in the summer, they kind of hang out and don't really do too much and then jump off the couch and, and decide that they want to, um, you know, try out for sports or do sports in the, in, in the heat. So it's like I say, preparing um, and getting hydrated before you even go out and step out down that field. What kind of conditioning can we do prior to going out for a fall sport? Is there, you know, instead of just, okay, I'm going to roll off the couch um, after I've gained about 15 pounds this summer and uh, watch my share of movies and everything else or playing video games, and here I'm, I'm about to go out for some double sessions, what can I do to gear myself up? So now I'm getting myself hydrated, but do you have some suggestions, Jeremy or Kenny, as far as kind of getting yourself toned? Yeah. Uh, really movement is a key you know like Kenny was saying if especially with youth you know if they're spending a lot of the summers just sitting on the couch being lazy you know and then they jump up and hop, you know hop right into a hard football practice their bodies aren't going to be prepared at all but if they get moving you know just like Kenny's brought in several of his kids from the uh, from his youth uh, football program to functional fitness we've started getting them moving again doing some of the same foot drills some of the same ladder work the speed and agility drills to kind of wake their body up out of that summer slump, so to speak. So that way they'll be ready 
when uh, as practice kicks off. So explain your partnership like you were saying with uh, with Kenny. So you're are you kind of doing the conditioning then for the youth sports with your your teams is that correct? Mm -hmm. And the parents and educating the parents as well is what they can do to help get their kids geared up for this. Right. When it comes to these outdoor practices, Kenny, here we are and they're doing double sessions. Are there certain times of day that are better to work out in versus the high heat is what around four o'clock in the afternoon? Somewhere uh, around I'll there? say two. Say, two? Say so two. what time is, is good for a morning session and what is a good time for an evening session? Um, it's the best time is to get um, to be done before maybe about 9 or 10 o'clock to get it in early or the afternoon starting around 6. Most of our youth programs start at 6 in the afternoon. Um, where your cases come with um, having problems with the heat is on those Saturdays during the games. Mm -hmm. um, that's when the young kids are out there in the hottest part of the time. And um, that's when you want to look out for signs. Um, what we did with uh, partnering up with Jeremy is um, making sure our coaches are aware of what's going on. Uh, we had a big coaches clinic and they came out and talked um, talk with all our coaches. Uh, we have about 650 coaches um, throughout the valley and they talked about um, hydration and the proper warm up and getting kids um, uh, moving before they prepare for the season. Mm, no, these are such good information and good tips to know. Well, and what advice can you give the kids? Like you said, Jeremy, from a coach's perspective, look at the eyes. You can see with the eyes, but from the kid's perspective, a lot of times it's ego and, oh, I'm going to push myself really, really hard. You know, tell them, what is it? Don't be afraid to, I say, I'm, right. I don't feel good. Right. Um, for for young athletes, you need to decide, okay, I'm not going to be that person to sit and wait till something happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, don't be afraid. Tell a coach, coach, I'm not feeling well. Tell your parents I'm not feeling well and sit out. Um, don't have that ego of pushing yourself, pushing yourself, because it'll come to a point that your body can't go anymore and it fails on you. So uh, we just encourage kids to make sure you identify that something's wrong and say something about it. Got it, got it, and yeah, and look for, and notice the signs and the symptoms. Yes. Okay, yeah. so the best thing to tell the parents and the kids at home is that hydration is key. Yes. Yes. Have fun, play safe, and uh, and go team. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll Thank be right you. back Thank you. after Appreciate this. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs>